Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Evil Genius, where we are cracking on here, although it looks like we had a mission fail. Boo, hiss, somewhere, I don't know, where were we, where were we failing missions? Oh yeah, was it this one? Oh, it, oh yeah, I, I think I did this on camera, it, fa it failed and then we started again. So I'm hoping it goes right this time, we get ourselves a guard. Uh, but one thing we do have is a valet, and now this stuff has gone in place... Yes, yes. So we should be able to start working on our valet. So let's have a look. Uh, we currently have one, so we can have a capacity for 59. So I would say 10 valets. And we'll knock our workers down to 35. And already we have one on the track. So as he works all the way up here. And we'll get ourselves two valets. And we'll hopefully see that happening. As, a, uh, as our valet runs from wherever they could possibly be. They, they do end up doing normal jobs. Yeah, here we go. Looks like they were just in the control room. Uh, capture guard succeeded. Supoib. We can now get ourselves some guards as well. That's fine. I don't mind losing a couple here. We've got quite a bit of heat, so let's get you out of there for now. And we'll just... You know what? We'll, we'll take everything off the map for a minute. We've got so much cash right now that we can just... Uh, we can have nobody on the map for a little. Uh, okay. So we're going to get them training up here. We should see that happen. Looks like uh, Pierre Gilberto is heading to take part in the training exercise. Don't let me stop you, Gilbert. Uh, excuse me. Don't let me stop you, Pierre, even, Gilberto. You should have a brother called Gilbert. Gilbert Gilberto. That sounds like a great name. And he's going to he's gonna, he's gonna, uh, take a pew right there. There we go. And that's going to be... Oops. And we're going to click on those. And there we go. You are getting trained up. Oi, sit up. Lazy bum. Sit up. Look at the state of Gilbert. Not even not even awake. There you go. Oh, please, thank you. Read the book. There we go. You're going to get yourself trained. Okay. Right, so, uh, so there we go. We're going to start training our valets and we'll have a guard come in and we'll just do the exact same with the guards. I would say... 10 of each here is a pretty... Oh, we also have technicians as well. Right, so let's do technicians. So let's drop down to 39 here. And drop this up to 10. And we'll get 10 technicians. And we'll get 10 guards. Although that'll only leave us with 29 workers. So I think uh, a few more of these might, um, might not be a bad idea. Where could we put some of those and not really affect ourselves? I mean, I, I, you know, we could stick a whole block over here if we wanted to. I think maybe that's what we might have to do. Because we need the basic workers just as much as we need everything else. We need this prepped. Although, saying that, guards and technicians, they will all come and work this and, and have very little problem. We can see that our first technician is going to do some training now. They work on these uh, on these sort of lab benches here. Um, so let's get somebody here interrogating you. There we go. And there we go, there was our first valet. Nice. And now what should happen, because the valets haven't got much else to do, is both of those should now stop and wait and start training up somebody else. So I always find this a little bit funny. This guy's literally just become a valet, and he's like, bring me someone, I'll teach them everything I know. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, I don't, you know, it's, you know, blind leading the blind a little bit there, perhaps. But even still, um, this guy's now doing a bit of training, which is good. Let's have a look. Oh, I'd rather look at the front of you. No, never mind. Okay. Well, that's what it is. How about if we double click that? No, the table only shows us the back of it as well. Never mind. What about if we click the tech? There we go. And he's going to do a little bit of uh, scratching your balls, mate. Come on, you're being watched. So he doesn't really have to sort of stand with this guy, but he does just have to be in the space. He kind of keeps an eye on the guy. Uh, and wanders around whilst uh, whilst dealing with stuff. So that's how that works. But that's technicians and everything else. Here's a guard doing his thing. Blow the smoke in his face. Do you want some? Do you want some? Do you want some cigarette? No. No, you don't get cigarettes until you teach me how to be a guard. Okay, it's all done. Oh, he's a big guy, isn't he? I feel sorry for him. I think it's a it's a terrible way to go, but you know, he was doing nothing. He was literally just doing his job. But that's how we get guards, I'm afraid. So that's what needed to happen. There we go. So guards, yeah, I'm less concerned about having um, guards, but I still think we need a little pool of them. So let's drop that down to like four. Let's start with five guards. I personally, as I said before in the last episode, I run a very valet heavy game, uh, a very social minion heavy game. So I'm uh, I'm all for valets. 
uh, doing what they want to do. So here we go. There's two more already starting there. So that'll give us four. And it kind of just ramps up from there, really. Look, we've already got, there you go, two technicians. And those two are automatically training the next two. So you, you get up there quite quick from one up to those first four. Like, he, already this guy is going to go and start waiting for the next person. Um, and this guy is doing the exact same. What I might do, you know, is drop... Um, drop Maximilian up here and get everyone's stats to stay a little bit higher so they can train people a bit longer. But there you go, look, we've got four valets in there, so that'll get up to eight in the time, excuse me, in the time it took us to get the first one. I'm very excited. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. No, 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 sorry, not there, no. I'm, I forgot I was selecting you. There you go. So we'll get some guards, some technicians, and some valets. Nice stuff. Okay, so what, what are we actually working on? What's our uh, objective oh that's right it's got to be only one criminal mastermind to make uh make sure that's you gather the min major criminal players in a conference on your island to explain how it's going to be just like your geniuses are impressed by shows of wealth you need somewhere suitably ostentatious to host this gathering of criminal masterminds build an inner sanctum that's right um rumor has it that all of the indian subcontinent is controlled by one man uh, Martin Luke from Nefarious and of North America and Ye, uh, Ling Ye Lo is the undisputed head of the organized crime across China. Okay, so that we need to go and find those people out. But first of all, we need to build a inner sanctum to do so. Now, one thing I quite enjoy doing. We have these little bits of ground here that are uh, useless. We can't we can't build on them or anything like that. But I actually quite like them being the backdrop of our inner sanctum. Now, in the second island, you can do this really neatly. But the ones we get here on the first island don't lend themselves as well to that kind of thing. But we're going to see if we can make it work. I'm going to bring the corridor up and around. And we're going to have this here. If you look, we can't, we can't build there, you see. Oh, it actually goes on for that many. But that there... That big, that just looks like the awesome, most awesome background for an inner sanctum. So my plan will be to do something like that as an inner sanctum, okay? So we need to bring the uh, corridor somewhere like this, okay? Obviously take this away for now. Boom. So there can be our corridor. That puts the inner sanctum in place. And then this would make sense to have this as some more training or, or maybe even power. We're up to 63 of 80, so at the moment we're doing pretty good. Um, and eventually we'll be able to make these into nuclear reactors, which are smaller uh, per energy they're able to make. So that's pretty sweet. You are doing good here. You're grabbing most of the room. I could maybe push it this way a little. Hmm. Mm, yeah, I think I want you there. I want the valets up and running because we're going to set up the uh, the system in place here for getting rid of people. So you'll see here we can shift this and we can, I think, shift click. Looks like they're on their own, but shift click will do uh, all of the all of the thingies they're with. So here's what's going to happen there, you see. when If they manage to get through this door, they can spend all day long around here and that's not a problem. But if they manage to get through this door... The camera is going to see them, and then in both the uh, barracks and the mess hall, if there's any valets around, they will be sent to come and deal with them. Now, currently there are neither in neither, but here we go. He heard that, look, and he's straight down here. So I'm, I'm guessing this one, oh, when that door opened, they heard it. But look at this. Here we go. Look, the alarm's going off. There and the valets are on it, and this is this is basically how I run my game. This corridor here is always just filled with valets who weaken them and kick them out. Basically, that that's how we deal with this. So you'll see here, look, he he did quite a bit, but not enough. Let's have a look. He's down to two smarts, so we need another valet to jump on this guy. Um, and that one, let's have a look. That's down to one smart. So somebody now will come and escort him out. Uh, unfortunately, the valets will need to rest up in between each of these. And later on, the uh, the higher level social minions will be able to do even more of a drop. But whilst they're stood like this, nothing will happen. And basically, we'll get a... Uh, so here we go. Let's see if, if it is shift click. No. How about... How about... Uh, how about... Control click. There we go. Control click does the whole group. There we go. There we go. And, that, and this is basically it now. Look, this guy will get escorted out. Um, 
Oh, maybe they won't. No, they're starting to come up a little bit. There you go. And this is it. This is how we, this is how I play the game. I am the very valet centric, and I have I have valets running around here and just doing their dirty work. And all I have to do is pop in and uh, and tag them all from time to time. So that's pretty sweet. Okay. Uh, and as more of them get trained, they come scooching down, which is awesome. Where are they going to go? Escorting your prisoners. Nice. So this is the thing you see. They need to be tagged to appear on cameras to get um, sort of mentally weakened in the first place. But once they're like this, they'll people will just know to come and escort them out, right? Which is perfect. And then whilst they're down here, they may see other tags because I've got. I think we've got two here running to the same one we have. So when he realised that that needed help, he came running over here and escorted them. And all you'll end up with is um, a, a just a just a, a huge load of people out here just just not knowing what the hell they, to, they need to do. <laughs> it's perfect. Works great. Okay, works pretty great. To the point where I might even up this valet number in the future as well. Once we've perhaps upped our worker number. I think, yeah, maybe. This corridor's built, so that's good. So let's build our inner sanctum. Just so we've got it there. And then if we fancy going and doing the mission, uh, we can do. So I think if we do something like this. Uh, oh, can we not have that? Because it's only too wide? Oh, no. Okay, well. That kind of limits us a little, but there we go. I think that's still enough room. The, t the table, I the, the, the desk I remember being four. And I've got a feeling the table is three by three. So that's probably okay. If not, let's have a look. Conference table. Yeah, Ooh, it's going to be a little tight. But yeah, so that's going to go there. And then the conference table. Conference table can go there. Uh, I mean, that is literally kind of my fault, really, isn't it? I wonder if... Do we block off this corridor and rebuild it again a little bit further away? Just to give us that one or two extra space. Now, we can... It's a little tricky to do. What we have to do is build a door in here. So, if we put a door... Well, we can put a door there, actually, because it's only this bit that we want to remove. So, when that door's put in place, we can actually remove this. So, yeah, let's cancel that room. For now. We'll do it properly. We're only going to get to do it once... So, let's do it properly. What's this on the floor? Just a case of money? My goodness. Here we go. It wears our valets out, but they do a great job of just kicking people out the door. It's superb. They get no they get no dodginess. They don't, you know, they're not killed. So they don't, they lose heat, basically. But when these, the way these work is that they've, they're only on the island for a certain amount of time. So, if you can get most of their time spent up by just sitting here with really low stats, just scratching their heads... Eventually they'll leave, but they'll leave with that blue ring that means they've seen nothing bad at all. And that means our heat will actually go down in places. You'll see it's already gone quite a bit down from South, South America. Honestly, just from very little happening. I try and do as little as possible on the world map, honestly, because otherwise we just get crazy heat and it's really difficult to deal with. I'm really hoping um, Evil Genius 2 has kind of dealt with that a little bit because it can get really messy here if you do even a few of the simplest tasks on the, on the world map. But here I go. Our valets work so hard. It's crazy, but they really do do a great job. Uh, do do. So, okay. Training gears looks like pretty much done. Let's have a look. Yeah, five. One more technician, and we've got our valets. We have a capacity of 59, so that's 34, 39, 49, 59. Yeah. So, yeah, I think... Um, I think another bit of... Uh, we have got an archives. I haven't really put one of those in before. Put a little archives there, maybe. That could kind of work, couldn't it? Put a really little one in with a door. No, I think we could, we could have archives open. Yeah. Archives have these... Re they eventually have bookcases in which we might struggle with. Maybe we'll have to build a bigger one for that later on. But for now, we can put a couple of those in. Yeah. There we go. Have a little archives there. Boost their stats up a little as they move forward. Okay, so this door is going in place now, which is good. That means we should, once that's in, and this fellow has moved out of the way, we should be able to delete this bit of corridor. And we can have another go at that, planning the room out a little bit better. There we go. Right, there we go. Delete that. You'll... 
And it should be your job, buddy. Oh, you're already in there. Okay. Nice. Hey, you get a raise, my friend. What was your name? John Ann. Legend. Very quick. I like it. So let's have a look then. So this time, let's build... Uh, okay, so we can't build anything there, there, or there. All right then, okay. So that's too wide. So let's go to there with it, and then bring that down. And this is three wide, so we can go three. So we can have the d desk there, and then that there. So really, I feel like we only had to come one more out just to make it comfortable. But yeah, let's do it like that. Okay. Conference table can fit there and also of course we can remove the constants table later on um it's it's only needed for this first test i'm pretty sure yeah there we go cool and then we'll put the corridor in to match up with it which we'll do just like that for now and then that can be the door nice okay they can get working on that and then, honestly, I go and stick Max up in there and let him be. I, I'm not one for playing with the, with the evil genius out and about, to be honest. This guy needs to be caught, please. And there's another fellow here. So we'll stick those on there. Okay, archives is going in. That's good. Uh, okay, so the instinct is built. We, I don't think we can even find the people until that table's built. Because basically, when we find them... They're going to come and sit at this table and wait for the for the sequence. So I don't think there's much point in starting looking for them even until we're done. Um, we're doing fine for cash. I mean, we could we could maybe work on a bit of notoriety. There's a few things we can do here. Let's have a look. What's that give us? Five notoriety. Sure. What does it need? Three workers. Let's send five workers and. Uh, Jubei. He'll he'll turn up eventually if he does die, but that's fine. We'll let him get started, and he and also these folks here. Look, you've got low stats. Um, the valets will actually come and grab these and place them somewhere that's suitable too, which is pretty cool. Like the valets are having a little sleep at the moment. Looks things. They genuinely are the hardest working uh, folks uh, in the game for me. Uh, which makes me think that I do want to play with Emma. Uh, they've released an awesome clip of... Uh, oh, no, we've got a tourist in here. How did you get in here? Get weakened, please. Uh, this is a tourist, which is why she's running around super scared. Now, normally they come in pairs, so I don't know where her husband is. Um, oh, he's just in need of help. That's fine. Yeah, they normally come as two, so I wonder where a fella got to. I bet he, like, sometimes they get right, like, if they just manage to step behind a minion, they can get so far into the base completely by accident. But, uh, yeah, we could do with, I'm sure valet, I could have sworn valets went and come and grabbed these. Hmm. I guess not. I thought they came and sort of pushed them into places where they were needed. Never mind. There we go. There are the archives going in. I don't think much happens here other than it's just been a way of them increasing smarts. So they want to go from here. Uh, his attention is low. I think it's smarts that get fixed in that room. He's got low attention as well. You all want to start paying attention. He's deserted. Who's this? No, you haven't, mate. We don't have deserters here. We have people who stop and salute and get their heads kicked in. <laughs> That's what we have. <laughs> uh, okay, nice. Corridor was done. Nice. Let's get a. Uh, oops. Let's get a door on there as well. Just realised. There we go. Fire extinguisher. Where do we need to use those? Fires can be uh, started by certain traps and by damaged or sabotaged equipment exploding. Fire spreads. It's important to put these fires as soon as possible to minimize losses. Place fire extinguishers in useful locations such as near combustible objects like the generator. And remember that only valets can operate them. Hmm. We have. I rarely bother with them, but yeah. Okay. Sure. Let's let's put a few. Do they have to go in the corridor? Oh yeah. Looks like they do. Okay. Well, in that case. 
we can throw these around in a few places. I imagine these things will probably blow up. So one, one can go there. Sure. Um, what else do we need one, maybe? I suppose up here isn't going to hurt. There we go. All right. Hasn't even been started on yet, but that's fine. I imagine they're running over with with their dynamite as we speak. Let's have a look. He's got some cash going. That could be for a fire extinguisher cover for now. Here's the dynamite. Nicely done. Boom comes the dynamite. So yeah, I think we need another uh, locker room. Oops. Yeah, I think we need another locker room. I wonder where's a good spot for one. I just kind of hate how much space they take up. I think there are better lockers you can build later on. So we can basically put two of these in the space of one and then reclaim the locker room space later on. But right now, I feel like we just need locker space. Um, let's build a little corridor to the end here. And then we'll throw in some locker space here with a view for eventually this can be changed into a training room or something maybe. There we go. Because we're desperate for lockers. Uh, locker. Okay. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There we go. That's going to give us a nice chunk of minions to work with. Talking of minions. Oh, no. Oh no, Jubei was taken out. Whoops. He'll show up later on, but for now, let's hide. I forgot to think about these. Justice agent. Joe was taken out. He will show up later. He'll he'll just turn up turn back up at the base later on. Okay, he's gone. Go for it. If you don't have Jubei anymore, you're gonna have to try and do it on your own minions, but I believe in you. Um is there one over here we can do as well? I'll give us five notoriety. I would just like the notoriety to go up a little bit. It makes it more fun. But yeah, Jubei will uh, yeah will show up. He's off the map at the minute, but they don't actually die. They just get taken out of action for a bit. I'm not sure how they're going to deal with that in the new one. Okay, the inner sanctum is built. I just think that looks cool, you know, as a backdrop. Joe you know makes me think of, although it doesn't look as cool, but it makes me think of the um, the the lava curtain that um that happens in one of the in, i think it's the incredibles movie he like the lava opens up and he and he walks through it it's pretty sweet okay. all right yeah we have yeah all these people i could have sworn the valets dealt with them hmm, maybe not yeah look at these folks they can't even get through the door <laughs> and I'm hoping this is kind of what the hotel, the the casino does in the second one, right? Because in the in the ho this casino is actually built into the front of the base in the second version, uh, which looks pretty exciting. So it's not just a useful, ho useless hotel that you place out here and doesn't do anything apart from take up your uh, your valet staff. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of people struggling with smarts here. Oh well, they'll they'll get back together eventually. Here goes this little bit of corridor. That's good. And it's literally just a room for more people. Right, you buddy. Come get up into your... What's this? It is your inner sanctum. They've got the voiceover. I was talking about the voiceovers before, weren't I? They've got the voiceover artist who did the original Maximilian back for the second one, which is really exciting. And then Emma, who I was talking about, who seems to be a bit of a sort of Politico-style character, um, sort of very fa focused on, um, on sort of fake news and that kind of thing. Her, uh, hers, her, She's been voiced by Samantha Jones, who played Moneypenny in the uh, Pierce Brosnan era Bond movies. So, I mean, she was Moneypenny for me. I was a, I was a Brosnan kid. Um, although I don't necessarily think he's the best Bond now. He was the one, you know, his movies were coming out as I grew up. So I was a big fan of Goldeneye, especially. Oh, what a movie. Um, so, yeah, so she was uh, she was Money Penny as far as I was concerned. And, um, yeah, she's uh, she's doing the voice of Emma, which is really exciting. I've just noticed he sort of potters around his room. That's pretty sweet. I never noticed that before. 
That's pretty cool, actually. Task complete. Here it is. There you go. I think I can make him come and sit. Now I sit. <laughs> Sweet. There we go. I think I can get him to come and sit here as well, actually. Nope. He'll only interact with that at the right time. Okay. Well, there you go. No, no, no. You can... You can... Oh no, he's going to do it. Yeah, he is. Look at that. There you go. There you go. So he's going to hang out. So you can come and sit up there. I'm not going to worry about you again uh, until a little bit later on. We have some new folks turned up here. So we're going to weaken tag on those. Uh, this room looks like it's got its dynamite coming to get it. Nice. Right, so now that's in place, we do have to go and start looking for these uh, these mob bosses. So let's, let's see if we can figure, see where they are. First one, uh, Indian subcontinent is controlled by one man, Amand Krishnan. He has many nefarious plots and intrigues, mostly concerning corruption of local government officials. Track him down and encourage him to come and bend to our way of thinking. The Indian subcontinent. So, that's going to be here then, Indian subcontinent. We're going to send out some troops. So let's send... Uh, five workers and a couple of valets, they help with the heat and I want you to plot because you need to find that guy. There we go. And you might find other stuff while you're there and look, we can look at doing stuff, but for now, just go and find that dude. Why are, you, why, are you, why are you stuck? Have you been working on there too long? Security door bypassed, that's fine. You go down there all day long. So this is, this is why I specifically don't put cameras down here. If they make their way up here, they will use up their time. Henchman returns. Nice. Where are you? Is he off the boat yet? He's not starting the map, is he? No, he comes back. He comes back here, I'm sure. Huh. He'll show up. Again, I don't I don't really play a very henchman heavy level, honestly. Uh, why are you all stressed out? What have you seen that you don't like? You've been just calmed down and pushed out. Oh, there's a husband, look. Maybe he's always around. Yeah, these are getting a little bit close for comfort, please, folks. I don't like I don't like this. This should be being dealt with back here, thank you very much. There we go, valets are on it. Perfect. Much better, guys. Thank you. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, they're all coming to grab cash. <laughs> Bless them. All queuing up, ready for... Oh, it's because of all these, right? Yeah, of course. It's going to be a bit intense to get those filled up. Otherwise, yeah, I think we're doing okay here. Right, we'll leave this one here then. I might play a little bit um, off camera just to kind of push forward. Here's the guy. There we go. Indian Crime Lord. Three minutes. We need more valets. Okay, I think each of these requires a few of each. So, all right, let's send. Let's see if we can get the first Crime Lord, and then we'll call this one done. There we go. Three valets there, and uh, and I do, as I said, my capacity is now sixty-four, which is good. So let's do five more valets. Yeah, there we go. Five more valets. So because we're probably going to lose some valets here on this mission, so we want to make sure we've already started to stock up on those. Just to really keep on top of things. But it's interesting, the capacity's gone up 64. I haven't put any more of those in, so I wonder if just the barracks itself increases capacity a little? Seems like perhaps it does. But otherwise, even though we've got the forces of justice coming to get us, and we've got a bit of heat in various places. Our uh, smash heat is a little high. Saber heat's a little high. Um... Yeah, I mean everything. We haven't done anything in the in the uh, hammer area, but yeah, otherwise we're doing okay. Good stuff. And then hopefully we get some loot. I would really like to start getting some loot, filling this corridor up with some sexy loot. That'd be good, because this is our main forest there, and this is where all people are going to gain the stats from, which is cool. And maybe we'll even try for the totem as well, which is always good fun. Wicked. All right, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Till the next one, be good.